One of the things that you often might think is that if you say sexism is a major problem for women in computing, that you're saying men in computing are worse people than women. Okay? And absolutely, I'm not saying that. Okay? I, could not, I don't want to be completely clear. Let's assume no gender difference in sexism. This is a thought experiment. Let's assume no gender difference. And let's say 20% of people, men and women, act like jerks to men of the opposite sex. You're going to see, oh, I'm going to assume that 20% of, of the CS population is women. Okay? For the sake of argument. And you can read all about this on my blog. So I wrote a blog post about this. And who's Karen Petrie? This is named after Karen Petrie by me. I named it, but she invented it, so I named it after her. Strange logic. She's a senior lecturer in computer science at Dundee. She is a CS graduate from Andrews. Degree here. And in case you're wondering, is she a kind of geeky person at all? Let's check. That's her wedding. That's her on her wedding day. That's half of her wedding cake, and that's the other half of her wedding cake. Right? And what I'd like to say is well, she does have blonde hair, but she doesn't need rescuing. And her husband, uh, who's actually Chris Jefferson, who you might get the comment from, he does have dark hair, but he pays other people to be funny. Anyway. So I would say she may be a geek. But let me explain this. So, it's all going to be animated. I'm going to start with 32 men. Now they're pink. How do we mean why pink? Well, pink obviously is a male colour. I'm a man. There's my iPhone case. I've got in my pink trousers. Pinkish shirt on. It's a boy's colour, isn't it? Everyone knows that. If you don't know it, let me read you a quote. The generally accepted rule is pink for the boys and blue for the girls. The reason is that pink, being a more decided and stronger colour, is more suitable for the boy, while blue, which is more delicate and dainty, is prettier for the girl. Okay, everyone knows this. It must be genetic, it's only brain. Earnshaw Infants, I think Earnshaw was a department store or something, in 1918 said this. In 1980, less than 100 years ago, the convention was 100, I was going to say 100 degrees, 180 degrees opposite what it is now. Think about that the next time. If you catch yourself thinking, I bet the gender balance in computer science is something to do with genetics, right? Walk into Toys R Us, look at the pink and the blue toys. That's nothing to do with genetics. In fact, it's only brains. Maybe. Everything else is, is not something. That is ingrained because it's not genetic. There's other things which appear to be ingrained, may not be genetic. I'll put it in that theory. So I add eight women in blue. I'm going to add eight men in the darker pink who act like jerks to women. That's 20% of 40. And it's completely equal, so two women act like jerks to men. There they are. One, two. Okay? Each gender is equally bad to the other. What happens? That's a man being unpleasant to a woman. Okay? That's not good. There's a woman being unpleasant to a man. That is also not good. There's no difference in the unpleasantness. <coughs> now we're just going to watch this beautiful animation, I want to say, produced by me. Okay? That's how good it is. Uh, and these are just arrows. What you might notice is some of the women are getting a lot of hits, right? And the men aren't getting very many hits. What's happening? How is this happening? I've started from saying men and women are equal. In fact, there's no gender difference in unpleasantness to the opposite sex. I've got an animation in a minute, but all of it. Right. Let's have a look at some of the men and women. There's a man, he was very lucky, he had no unpleasant remarks made. But that's also the typical experience of men, is to get zero unpleasant remarks. There is one very unlucky guy who gets three. That's really a bad, and that's not acceptable, and that woman should not have done it. Let's have a look at the very luckiest woman who got the least remarks. Four. One, two, three, four, that's her there. One, two, three, four. The unluckiest man experiences less sexism than the luckiest woman. 
and there is no gender difference in sepsis. Okay? On average, each man gets 0.35 bad experiences and each woman gets 5.6. So that's 16 times as many because the ratio between men and women is 4 to 1 and the ratio of bad experiences is the square. So that's 16 to 1 in simple maths. I'm not saying this is an accurate reflection of reality, but it does tell you something very, very interesting. With women underrepresented, women experience an amazing disparity of sexism with no assumption that men are worse. So if I'm a taxing sexism in CS, which I definitely am, I'm not saying that men are worse than women in terms of sexism. I'm just saying, because there are fewer women, we've got to be careful. 